So the first card you have you passed is a Ten of Swords. Yes. Um, yes. I'm just actually seeing, I'm hearing the words, um, you know that saying I'm hearing, death of a thousand cuts. Do you know what that means? It means someone stabbed you all these little times and then you die. It's not like someone gave you one big stab and you died. It's like all these little stabs. Now, I'm not saying you're dying and someone stabbed you. Obviously, this isn't literal. What I'm seeing here is that you've had a lot of these little things building up, a lot of little criticisms. I'm seeing a lot of different people just saying these little things to criticize you and they've just built up and built up. The other thing I'm seeing is that um, you've criticized yourself as well. So it's adding to this, you've had self-criticism and you've had other people criticizing you. It's built up and built up and built up until you've just kind of fallen down. That's what I'm seeing has happened. I'm sorry about that. I'm feeling like that too. But this is in your past, so I hope it's I hope it's back in your past back there. With me it isn't. Um and yes, someone actually is trying to compete with you as well. I'm actually seeing more than one person was trying to um compete with you. Might be someone else who's in the same field as you, might be some something like that. They were trying to big themselves up against you, trying to put you down, make you um, look bad, make them look better than you, that kind of thing. And, you know, this was coming on on top of a lot of other, these little small criticisms coming up. And, you know, I'm seeing you nearly actually caving all over at one time. You actually caved and fell, but you bounce back. You, you bounce back physically, but actually in your mind and in your heart, you're actually still feeling quite wounded by all of these little cuts. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm actually seeing you, you do bounce back your Aries, you do bounce back. Um, but um, I'm actually laughing because I'm actually seeing you in a ditch. I'm seeing this, not you personally, I'm seeing there's a ditch and someone's pushed you into this ditch in the ground and you're in the ditch with your boxing gloves on, jumping up and down saying, I'm still here, I'm still fighting, I'm still down here and I'm still fighting. And that's how I'm seeing you. That's why I'm seeing you. Just keep going. You will not let these people stop you. Even if you feel like inside you're actually not even here, you've collapsed like this person in the Ten of Swords, you're not going to show it. You're not going, and sometimes you can't help showing it. Sometimes it just comes out. But no, you're just going to keep going anyway. You're keeping fighting. That's what you're doing at this time. And you, know, you had your boxing gloves out and you're like, I'm ready, I'm ready. Who wants to come and take me on? It's that kind of thing I'm seeing. The next card you have your past is the Two of Wands. Um, so yes. Look at this man, look at this man in the Two of Wands. He's holding the world, he has the world in his hands. Now you might not feel like you have the world in your hands if you were going through this um, lack of confidence at this time with these people picking on you, but you were, you did have the world in your hands. You just couldn't see it at that time. You couldn't see it because you felt so bad. You had all these people picking on you, um, but you did have the world in your hands. You did. And that's what these jealous people were seeing. They were seeing that you have the world in your hands. They were seeing you were going somewhere. They were seeing that you were doing really well. They didn't like it. And that's why they're picking on you so much. That's what these jealous people do. So I won't go on about them. But yes, they were criticizing all this criticizing. You were also self-criticizing. But look at you, you had the world in your hands. You were seeing out to the future. And I think deep down you knew that you had, you were going somewhere. You knew that, that you, that this wasn't true. It was like you knew that you were going somewhere. It was like your head knew you were actually going to go somewhere. You knew, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to go somewhere. I'm going to go far. I'm going to go far. I've got the world in my hands. You knew that. Your head knew that, but your feelings hadn't caught up with that because you had all of this criticism that you were dealing with. Uh, the other thing I'm seeing is that um, you could have had someone behind you. Now, this could be an ex, or this could be someone who you might be dealing with on and off. It's that kind of energy. I'm just not sure. It's kind of a love situation. It's kind of someone who wants to be close to you, someone who might be watching you at this time, or might have been watching you at this time. And it was like, um, it was like they're haunting you almost. It was like a ghost and you couldn't quite shake this person off. Now, you might not have been around them physically. You might not have been around them anymore. But they were around you mentally. It was like you still thought of them. Now, you didn't want to think of them, but you were. And here's this person. I'm looking at you with, um, I'm looking at this man. He has the world in his hands. He's holding on to one of the wands and another wand is behind him. 
kind of haunting him, kind of following him, kind of watching him. And this, you can't shake this wand off, you can't shake this person off, because if you have a look at this wand um, and you look down at the bottom of this wand, you'll see it's bolted onto the wall. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. You can just see the bottom part of it. Um, yeah, there's a bolt and it's bolted onto the wall. So you would have to really go to a lot of effort to get rid of this person and to get rid of them out of your mind and out of your head. And they would have to go to a lot of effort to get themselves out of the situation as well. If you unbolt something, you need tools, you need you know expertise, you need lots of effort, you need time, all of that stuff. So it's really difficult for them to let go of you. And it's difficult for you to let go of them inside your head. That's what I'm seeing there. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. <clears throat> Sorry about that, headphone people. Um, yes, the last card you have you passed is the High Priestess. So what I'm seeing here is this is like an extension, actually, of the Two of Wands that I'm seeing, because I'm seeing um, unreachable. I'm seeing the word unreachable. Somebody is unreachable. So I think this person who's following you around, who's watching you, thinking about you, who's bolted next to you, behind you, is thinks that you're unreachable. Now, I'm not even sure if they want to be with you. I'm not even sure if that's the case because it's all very mysterious. This high priestess is very mysterious. But your intuition is telling you that they're there and they know they're there, but they don't know why they're there. They just can't stop thinking about you. And you're unreachable because what I'm seeing is I'm seeing actually a ghost and they're kind of reaching out to grab onto you, but they can't. It's like you disappear. You're just that little bit ahead of them. That's what I'm seeing. And they're behind you, kind of haunting you. That's what I keep on seeing um, with this card and the two of wands, the two of them together. I'm kind of seeing them grouped together. Um, yes, the first card you have your present is the Ace of Cups. So yes, emotions, lots of emotions. You're highly emotional at this time. I am too. I'm Aries. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling this. Um, very emotional um, and probably because of all of this um, criticism you're getting. You're still um, dealing with this. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing um, Yes, I've seen your emotions taking over everything because what I'm looking at are these five streams of water coming down out of this cup. Now, if you look at this cup, there are five streams coming down. Now, what I'm seeing is your emotions taking over everything because the five streams represent, they don't always, but sometimes they can represent um, your five senses. So your emotions are taking over all of your senses at this time. They're taking over everything at this time. And, you know, this time won't last. You do go through these times where you're highly emotional, highly sensitive. You have, you know, you really do hurt over things. That's what I'm saying. But you will get over this and you will get some spiritual growth through this. Out of pain comes growth, usually. I mean, I know it's not very nice to know when you're going through it. You don't want to hear that. You just want to hear, get me out of this horrible pain. But, you know, it, you will have growth out of this. That's why the water comes down from these cups. You can't see it on camera, but there are water lilies in the water under the cup. So out of this pain comes growth. That's what's going to happen. You'll bounce back from this. You always bounce back. But I'm also seeing that even though you bounce back, people see you bouncing back. They see you with your boxing gloves fighting. I'm still here. I'm still here. You do bounce back. But inside yourself, you're still never quite satisfied with yourself. That's what I'm seeing. So you do go through these cycles. You go through these cycles of being emotional, then you're okay for a while, but never perfect, never so content. You always have this little bit inside you that's never totally content. That's just what I'm seeing there. So I'm sorry, that's a bit negative. The next card you have your present is the Queen of Cups. More emotion, more emotion here. This beautiful queen here is on the beach. If you look at her, she's on this beach. She's right up against the water. That's what I'm seeing. She's looking at the cup. She's holding the cup. She's looking at the cup. She's looking at her emotion. So she's lost in her emotion. This is how you are at this time. You're feeling these feelings. You're looking at this cup. You keep on looking at it. Oh, my emotions, my emotions, that's all I can see. It's taking over everything. If this queen looked up from her cup, she might see that the tide's coming and it's going to wash her away. She might see a crab's coming to bite her toe. She might see a whale's going to come and hit her or a shark is going to kill her or something. She can't see that because she's too busy looking at her emotion. She's lost in her feelings. That's how you were at this time. I don't know if you can do this. I can't do this either. I can't advise you how to do this. But try and do what you can to 
to put your emotions, put your emotions to one side. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm stumbling on my words. Put your emotions to, to one side and deal with what's in front of you. You have a lot of things you have to deal with. You have work to do. You have people to talk to. You have things you have to do, practical things you have to deal with, big things in your life that you might be putting aside that you're not dealing with because you're stuck in your emotions. You're thinking about how you're feeling. That's really kind of drowning you. Look at all this water, that's drowning you. Don't let this drown you. I can't advise you on what to do. I'm exactly the same. I'm like this right now. Um, but yes, I'm here with my boxing glove and I'm still going. But yes, this will pass. All I can say is this will pass. It always does. It always passes. That's what I'm seeing. And you know, you can see that in the Ace of Cups as well. It will pass because it's it's the water's making a beautiful um load of water lilies. So pass and you'll get peace. Um, the last card you have for your present is the Six of Wands. So yes, you're still getting, even though you've had a lot of criticism, and this has been work criticism and personal criticism as well, that's hard to handle. I can't handle that either, personal criticism, but you just have to, you, you have these things happening to you. Um, when you're a big strong person and people see you as a big strong person, even if you don't feel like that, you do get a lot of criticism. That's what I'm seeing. But yes, you're still getting a lot of recognition. Look at this horse, you're on your victory lap on this horse. People are recognizing you, they're actually praising you as well. Concentrate more on this praise and this will help you to get through this time. Don't concentrate so much on the on the little cuts of the Ten of Swords that people are giving you, they're stabbing you. Don't concentrate on that. Concentrate on these people. Look at their sword, look at their wands, sorry not their swords, they're holding up their wands and there's, they're cheering you. Concentrate on those people because you still have a lot of those people around you. And look how calm you're going to be if you concentrate on those people. Look at this horse. This is a beautiful white horse. A beautiful white horse means, you know, calm. It means serenity. It means um, purity. It means honesty. These people who support you are honest. They truly believe you. They believe in you. They honestly support you. That's what you want. You want this honesty. You want this purity around you. And you do have it around you. Look up from your cup in the Queen of Cups. Look at these people around you cheering you on. Look at this beautiful horse you're on. That's what I'm seeing there. The first card you have in your future is the King of Wands. So yes, this victory uh, and this way that you're really looking over this success you've had. You have had some success. You're actually surprised <laughs> by this success you've success, I'm trying to say success, but it's success you have, but you have had the success. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing also at this time in your future, you're going to be making some quick decisions about some things. And I am seeing some opportunities there for you. Some opportunities are up there for you. But look up from your cup. If you're going to see these opportunities, look up from your cup, look up from your emotions and see what's in front of you. See what's there. What I'm feeling is I'm getting this energy of you look, I'm just seeing you have this opportunity in front of you. You have a great opportunity coming up for you in your future. That's what I'm seeing. Look up and see it. And also don't miss out on this. Don't miss out on this thing. Don't miss out on it. Don't concentrate on the swords. Don't concentrate on that. Concentrate on the wands, the six of wands. You have all of these people pushing you forward. Look at this man on this white horse. Look at all the people pushing him forward. They're saying, go forward, go forward. We're behind you, we're behind you. All of these people are behind you. You need to be behind you as well. What I'm hearing is, I've missed out before. I don't want to miss out again. Don't miss out again. There's a great opportunity coming up for you. I can't tell you when it is, but I can see it's there. It's there for you. When it comes, you're going to have to act very quickly. Look at the King of Wands. He acts quickly. He's fast. He's, you know, he's not sitting back. He's, he's not leaning back. He's not like the King of Pentacles that's drowning in, um, all sorts of fruit and everything like that and vines. No, he's sitting up, he's ready. And he has a salamander behind him and like a um, like a lizard. And a lizard's so flexible, it's ready, it's ready to jump, it's a chameleon, it hides in different places. And when it comes, when a fly comes or an insect comes, it's ready to pounce. Be ready, be ready, sit there, be ready. This thing is coming to you, you have an opportunity coming to you. I hope this resonates with me. I really do. I'm starting to feel a bit better now as I'm reading these cards. Isn't that amazing? The next card you have for your future is the Three of Pentacles. I'm almost crying. I'm so happy. 
right? Yes. So sometimes what I'm seeing with you is work gets in the way of your love, looking for love. That's what I'm seeing. Excuse me. Okay. Someone's really focused on their work. You might be looking at someone, you might be attracted to someone, but they're focused on their work or they're going to be at this time, or it could be you that's focused on your work because I do see you do have a lot of, lot of opportunities coming up for you and you also focus on your work, you really do. But if you're looking for love, if you are looking for love, if you are single, you have to take your head out of it sometime. You have to take your head out of your work sometime, take your head off the keyboard sometime and look up and recognize new people. You have to do this. This is really hard. There's something stopping you. It might be your confidence. It might be these um, Ten of Swords wrecking your confidence. If that's what you want, you might not want someone, but I am feeling that deep down you do want someone. You do want someone if you like in your life if you're single. You are going to have to take yourself out there. You are going to have to get yourself out there. That's what I'm seeing. And what I'm seeing is yes, you're focused on your work. And what I'm seeing is that, yes, when I look at these three pentacles, there's you. So there's three there, there's you, there's another person, and there's work in the way. Work is stopping you. If you are single, this is for if you're single, work is stopping you from getting in the way of finding someone. Stick your head out from your keyboard and go stand up and walk like the king of wands. He's ready to get up and go. Get up and go. That's what I'm seeing. If that's what you want, if that's what you want. The last card you have in future is the three of wands. Watching and waiting. Look at this man looking out. He's watching and waiting. You probably can't see this on camera, but there are some boats out there. There are three boats or ships or whatever they are. This man's looking out. He's thinking, when is, where are my ships going to come in? When are they going to come in? When are they going to come in? This person in the Two of Wands is watching you. They're still going to be watching you at this time. They're thinking, it's, it's so strange because I'm seeing that they actually could be with someone else. This makes no sense. I don't know why they're doing this. It makes no sense. They could actually be around someone else or with someone else even, or even in another relationship, even thinking about someone else. But they're also looking at you. They're also focused on you. What sort of a crazy person does that? But that's what they're doing. They're looking at you or they're looking for you and they're thinking, oh, maybe they'll come back to me, maybe this, but it's unrealistic, it's unreasonable, I don't know why they're doing this, that's what I'm seeing this person's doing, but you're like a ghost to them, as I'm seeing in the Two of Wands, you're like a ghost to them, and the, and the High Priestess, you're like a ghost to them, and you're still going to feel like that to them at this time, it's like, they had you there once, then you disappeared, and they're looking out for you, looking out for you, but you're never quite there for them, you're never quite there for them, that's what I'm seeing, you might not want to be there for them, 